Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're back here with a new app that I wanted to bring to you and this app is great. It's very underrated. It helps you access tons of tons of hidden content that you wouldn't have had access to if you didn't have this app. So let's go ahead and search for an app. So we're going to go to the left to the magnifying glass. We're going to go down to search. We're going to click on search and we're going to type in this app. This app is called J e l l and as you start to type in you'll see the first search result says jellyfin you want to come down to jellyfin the app click on that word the search result in here it says jellyfin for fire tv this is what we're looking for if we open this up you will see that this does turn our device into a media server so this media server will be directly connected to your local computer so if you have a computer at your home and you have content on that computer like movies photos tv shows anything that you have on there we can connect to our amazon fire stick and view it on our amazon fire stick so watch this so i'm gonna click on download and it's very easy to set this up and i'm going to show you how easy this is to set up all right, so it has finished downloading and now it says open. So we're going to go ahead and open this app up. So click on open. This is what it looks like when it first opens. Right now, I already have my desktop connected to it. So it says discovered servers on the right hand side. I'm just going to click on that option because I've already set it up. All right, so once I click on that server, you will see that I'm automatically connected into the server that I've already set it set up in between my computer and my Amazon Fire Stick. So these are the folders that I set up. So this one's called Local Movies. So when I open this up, it shows me all the movies that I have installed on my computer. So I have a folder with all of these movies in here and I can just click on any one of these and then watch it at any given time. It also goes the extra mile. Um, if you notice at the very top left, it kind of gave some rotten tomatoes. I'm not exactly sure how it's pulling that considering that these files are downloaded to my computer and it must be embedded in some type of metadata. But that's cool. It gives me the rotten tomatoes on these local files. Not all of them, but some of them if I hover over them. They give me the Rotten Tomatoes score. And also just for full transparency, these are actually not the full movies. They're actually just trailers from a video that I had did from before. But I downloaded all of these to my computer and I added them to this server. So that's cool. So if I click my back button here, we can go over to the movie section if I click on movies. So when I open this up, technically this isn't called movies. These are actually just files that I have made from previous videos that I've done on YouTube and Patreon. So all of these videos are just local videos that I've done in the past on YouTube and on Patreon. But all of these videos, if I scroll to the to the right or to the left, if I go back, these are all my files on my Amazon Fire Stick. And these are all just in a specific folder. So I just put this in a folder. I specified in Jellyfin that I want to have access to this folder on my Amazon Fire Stick and it just adds all of these files. So technically these files aren't on my Amazon Fire Stick, they're on my local computer or my computer, but I'm connected to it remotely. So that's cool. So if I click my back button again, I'll click on photos. This is connected to a folder on my computer that has access to all the thumbnails that I've created on youtube and on patreon so these are all the thumbnails that you've seen on youtube in the past so that's the folder that you see here but you can kind of see where you can go with you could specify on your server what files you want to have access to and be able to access on your amazon fire stick so if you wanted movies you can have a movies folder on your computer if you wanted photos you can have a photos album on your computer and connect to it on your Amazon Fire Stick. It's never been easy. And I'll go ahead and walk you through the process on how to set this up. It's very easy, very straightforward. All right, so to set this up from scratch, what we want to go ahead and do is search for the app. Once again, go down to search. Let's type in here Jellyfin. As we start to type in J-E-L, you'll start to see it first auto-populate. Let's click on Jellyfin. The first app should be Jellyfin. Let's click on it again. And you want to go ahead and download this if you don't already have it installed. So let's go ahead and download this. All right, so Jellyfin just finished downloading. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we're going to open this up. 
and this is what we see on this screen from here it says connect to your server to get started so from here we want to go ahead and jump onto the computer that's the easiest way to set up the server because it's looking for a server but we haven't set it up yet so we're going to come over to the computer to set it up it's very simple let's look so first thing we want to come to is jellyfin.org once you're on jellyfin.org you see this blue download now button click on that blue download now button and we want to click on the windows option or depending on what type of computer you have mac windows linux you want to select that option for yourself i'm windows so i'm just going to click on the windows official and i'm going to click on the download button and then it takes me to an additional screen here i'm just going to click on the latest which is jellyfin 10.8.10 windows 64.exe so i'm just going to click on that option and that's going to download it says here it'll be done in about 50 seconds so i'm going to give that a moment and i'm going to go and install this on the computer all right open file comes up like this jellyfin windows and we want to go ahead and click on the next i agree basic install is fine click on next it says here we want to put this in the jellyfin slash server program files next and you want to click on install give this a moment to install on the computer and then this is the probably the longest part of the whole process all right so that just finished we'll click close and then from here once it's done installing you want to look at your your files in here find the j's and you want to click on the jellyfin view console or actually you want to click on the tray app so just click on the tray app and that will put it in the bottom right hand corner here and it says jellyfin and on the right hand side you can see it says here auto start and then stop jellyfin so as long as that's in the bottom right hand corner that means it's running on your computer that means you can communicate from your computer to your amazon fire stick now all right so we have jellyfin running in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the jellyfin icon in here it says auto start stop jellyfin and then open jellyfin so once this comes up you should be welcomed here with a welcome to jellyfin and it's going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to set this up so the first thing here is english and we just click next it's going to ask us for a username and a password so go ahead and put a username and a password for yourself all right so i went ahead and put in some information Username is going to be Carter YouTube, password is going to be something of my choice. And then once you have that in there, click your next button. So this is how we set up the media library. It's very simple. So I'm just going to click on add media library. If you click on the drop down, it gives you some drop downs on how you can name this content type. So I'm just going to go ahead with photos. If I go to photos, the next step down is the plus sign where it says folders. Click on the plus sign where it says folders you can kind of drill down here or if you don't want to drill down you can come in here and just simply copy and paste so if i copy this and just simply just pasted it in here this may work let's click ok all right so it says here it sees that folder and we're going to click on ok and that's photos and then if we come in here and specify another folder we'll just call this one movies and specify specify the folder and let's go in here and grab this address and we'll paste it in here and you can click OK and then OK again and it's going to try to connect to those particular folder types and we'll just click on next and I'll show you how to add more folders if you want to add more folders but we're just going to click on next says here allow remote connections to the server yes of course we want to allow remote connections to the server click next and then it says you're done and that's as simple as that and you're finished click on finish and then in here right away it's going to ask you for your username and password that you just set up to access this jellyfin server that you just set up so i'm gonna go ahead and put in carter youtube and then my password all right and then this is what it looks like so far latest movies and then 
the easiest way that we can set this up and connect to our Amazon Fire Stick in the top right hand corner there's a little avatar click the man avatar and these settings come up and it says quick connect so if we come back over to our Amazon Fire Stick alright so let's say you open up your Jellyfin app what you want to go ahead and do is click on add account and you want to go ahead and enter in this code on this screen on your computer so once you type in this code on your computer or on your phone so you do have the option to set this up on your phone or on your computer so um, and also that would probably just be strictly Android phones but you can do this on Windows Mac or Linux computers so if I hit authorize here let's go ahead and hit authorize and right away on the Amazon Fire Stick you see it gives me access to the files that I just specified so where this folder says latest movies these are all the movie trailers that I had saved on my computer and I wanted to access those on my fire stick so now I have access to that I also have access to some photos on my Amazon fire stick to a specific folder also if I jump back to the computer really quick alright so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to add more libraries to this so we want to add more photos and more movies to this so I'm going to show you how to set this up in case you didn't set it up on the first initial setup you can come in here into the dashboard under libraries and click on add media library click on the plus sign click on the type of content movies or photos so I normally go uh, let's go ahead and add more photos so we're gonna click on the plus sign and I've already found a place of photos that I want to be able to view so I'm going to drill down in here, I'm going to copy the address, and we're going to paste it into the Jellyfin. I'm going to click OK, and then OK again. And then as you can see, it auto-updates right there. And let's see if it auto-populates on the Amazon Fire Stick. All right, so I can see all of these thumbnails, and that kind of updates, not in real time, but if I hit the refresh button, it adds itself. So if I come back to the computer, add another library, let's go um, movies, and then we specify a folder. Let's say if we specify the output folder here, and we'll copy, and we'll come back to the folder to paste, hit OK, and then hit OK again and it should auto populate once again there and these are the the folder that has all of my YouTube videos and I could view them here before I post them so that updated I refreshed and it's called movies 2 that's the folder that's in and now you have all of the YouTube videos that I've done so definitely check out this app you will be able to access all of your local files on your Amazon Fire Stick. It's super convenient and you have a step-by-step -step walkthrough to kind of guide you through the process to set this up. So let me know what you think of this. Let me know if this is something that you would use in the future on your Amazon Fire Stick or on your PC. You can also use mobile phones to connect this, so keep that in mind. Also, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.